Hey guys, welcome back to Hillside in Stoneheart. It is Alpha 10.5 and we're gonna continue with my town that we got here. So we're building this stair that's gonna go up to this level here. And I think that I will actually be starting to go between these different levels pretty quick. And I will really wanna make something really nice around this lake here. Which I done in the previous town before this one, Water Song. And it was a lot of fun, I'm gonna do an good lakeside sound later on as well in the future and also get a suggestion to you know dig into a mountain and make that because that's gonna be very very protective just uh, like the suggestion so something for the future that we're gonna give it a try so but yeah we are going to build this and hopefully they're gonna be able to build this whole thing we're gonna hope so at least but they're still pretty busy with actually finishing the scaffolding for this one but what do we want to do as well if we also have some... Yeah, we actually have to get one fence. Because I want to put fences around this farm that we got here. So that's going to make it look pretty, pretty good. And there is one thing, by the way, with this cafe mod. With this one, we can actually make a well in the game. And that's pretty awesome. And from the well, we should be able to get water. So we definitely want to get a stone mace pretty quick for several reasons. One reason is to... Be able to take this cook and actually make something that we want to do to try it out. And another one is actually to improve the armor. And not, not actually the armor, but the weapon for our footman. Daily update! Yeah, we beat it! Awesome! We did good, we did good, but we need to build more because this is not keeping here enough forever, so... Olin Nonak has joined. Let's check this person out. Is that... that's an... that's a guy. So we're gonna name some people today, by the way, as well. So I'm gonna name this person that we got here. This is gonna be... Let's see who we're gonna take today. This is gonna be Philip Yeh Fry. He's been requesting for a really, really long time. And this is a request by Mr. Pancakes. Oh yeah, don't forget to press enter. I don't want to be named. So we're gonna name a lot more people today. So Rose here is gonna become... Oh, click the wrong one. It's gonna be Rely. A request from Rai Dota. And we also got one more here, which is stuck on the roof. That's not good, you shouldn't be stuck up there, that's not a good, good place to be at. So we're gonna name this person as well, and this is gonna be Kelly. A request by Multigaming HD. And I guess we can name some more people later on. So it seems they actually continue this, I'm really happy that they're doing that. You know, I had so many problems with this in the past, with this alpha at least. But it seems to be working pretty good for the moment. Oh yeah, let, let's buy some stone. I didn't buy it last time, I actually forgot it, so... We're gonna buy some stone, I guess. Uh, let's go for 20 stone. So that means that we don't really have to go up to the mountains to get some stone to get the stone mason. We can basically make that for now. I don't think we have the for crafting or how have we already made it? No. So let's craft one of those. We don't have the spoon yet. This is for the cook. We're gonna use it to promote them later on. And here we got the mason's hammer. So we're gonna make just one of them. And I think, we, yeah, we do maintain the shields. But like I said in the previous one, they ain't worth as much as it used to be. They go for about 24 gold now, so... What was it that it went from for long ago? It was really high, like 60 or something like that. It was really, really crazy. I think it was maybe even 72 gold. And that is, you know, that's just way too much. Okay, so let's speed up the game a little bit so we can actually do something here. And we really need to get going with a second house. And we got the ladder going up there, so... Actually, we could make something up here. But I wonder what we should do. It would be kind of cool if we made an... Like a tavern here at the top. Here would be good. So we just gonna have to chop down all those trees. Actually, we might make... We might need to make a separate ladder because this is the one made from scaffolding, it seems. Because if it would be the one that we made, we would have this X mark here and we don't have it, so... Oh, they're getting far, far with that one. But what we can do as well while we're doing this, waiting for them to finish that off, we can actually go and start to make roads. And I actually start to use this road all the time. But I'm gonna make this this time. So can I uh, tend to go for these nowadays? I don't go for the wrong one and have different colors everywhere. It's just gonna be looking bad. The caravan, what do they want? One wooden sword exchange for nine basket of corns. Hell yeah. 
That's really, really good. That's gonna give us a lot of food. Corn is worth a lot in food. So we're actually harvesting our first... I think this is the first pumpkin farming that we got going here. And we got our baby potato. Not edible yet. I wouldn't want to eat raw potato. It's gonna be really interesting to try out this cook. There are plenty of different mods of this game, and this game is meant to be very, very moddable. And it's pretty awesome. Who knows, maybe I will do it myself someday. I do some, you know, some programming and so on, but I don't really do many art thing and 3D modeling, but it's, it's pretty fun to do those things as well. So we should get a house that I was talking about here, and uh, can slow down the game a little bit. So we don't go too fast because that's gonna lower our chances to beat in the next day. So we need to have some kind of roof for this. Maybe we should go for a different one. Maybe we can go and make this like a different color depending on where we are. I think I'm gonna make something pretty interesting with this. Um, we're gonna remove a little bit of the side here. I'm actually gonna make this... I'm not sure how this is gonna be or not. Is it gonna be looking good or not? So I'm gonna go like... Um, like that, and then we're gonna add some darker ones. Like that should be good. And I'm gonna go all the way around like this. So let's log it in, and we are also gonna do a pretty interesting thing, which I don't know how this is gonna be, I think it's gonna be pretty cool. So we're gonna make the building up here, but we're also gonna use the slabs to make pillars going up, so they will actually have kinda like an... I don't know what we would call it, the balcony thing for this tavern, and I think that could look pretty cool. But I think we also have to make it a little bit bigger at this side as well. So we should add a little bit more with this. Was it this one? I'm getting confused. They look kind of similar anyway. So I mean, it should be a pretty decent sized house. And I mean, we can make one part stick up a little bit more than another one. Go around like that, and that was the wrong color. I think it was actually this one. Yeah, that was the one. And then we're just gonna keep going around like that, and pretty satisfied with that. So I think we're just gonna add the walls. It might look like really boring and very simple for the moment. We gotta have the feeling of something here underneath maybe later, so it's gonna look better. But uh, it's gonna look more interesting once we progress, I promise you that. So there we got the basic of it. We gotta have a, a door that goes out here. So they can go out on this balcony. We're not gonna make this balcony at the beginning. We're gonna add it, uh, once this is done, we're gonna start working with it. Just to reduce the risk of uh, running into some nasty bugs, which happens pretty frequently. So that should be pretty good with windows there. Should have windows at many sides. Because if you would be up here, you would want to actually watch out what is going on. Have this beautiful view over here. It's gonna be more and more beautiful the longer we progress when we get our town going there. We need to have another entrance, of course. So we can add another door to do, I guess, here would be good. And we can add some windows, one there. And maybe we should have a door in the back as well. And we can have some kind of food supply outside in the back here, where you actually go pick up food, go into, and sit and eat. So let's see how we're gonna do this. Pretty, pretty done with this. And the thing is that I have plans for making the roof a little bit different. So I think we're just gonna go with what I have here for the moment, build it. And once this is done, we're actually gonna add some more details to make it look more interesting. We're just gonna make it step by step, because this game, it tends to crash very often when... Or not crash, but they don't finish building things if you add the slabs. It really seems like that's the way it works most of the time, for me at least. So let's get some more beds going here. Yeah, the line here sleeping, who is that? Ursula Homer. Yeah, we can... I guess we can name her as well. Ursula Homer, what should you be named? Really good stats. Six mind, six spirit, four body. That's really, really good. This should be done by request from Black Dead the Reaper. So, welcome to Hillside. Welcome back. Dawn has been here before and back again. Like I said before, the female name, name request is... Uh, very low. The, there's a lot for male. But for females, there are very, very few requests. I guess we can name this one as well. Should have some more requests. Yeah, this should be a Celestial, a request from XX. Name is Yay! So let's go and name this to Celestial. Celestial. 
I think it was like that, yeah. Sounds good, level 2 Trapper, we've got everyone named. Yeah, everybody is named now. So we got a good sound progressing a little bit here. We should add a bit of fences for this. So it's gonna belong like to this house. Later on we're gonna make a bigger farm where we're gonna have a lot of crops grown, but uh, this is just gonna be like... It would be like this house own supply of food. Of course everybody's gonna eat it, but uh, that's the way it's kinda gonna look like at least. We're gonna probably remove that ladder. Don't want anyone to get stuck up there. Sometimes you just have to put them out to be able to actually reclaim your lost people on top there. We got some more bears. I think they will grow up like once a day or something like that. Daily update. We're probably not gonna meet this one because we do lack a lot of net worth, that is my guess. Not really that much, but we didn't beat it. So the next day we're gonna beat that. So we gotta make sure that we get this going. A rugged survivalist. Let's see what they have. Yeah, let's sell some shields. You see, 24 gold. Still gives kinda much. Let's see if we got other things, not like beds, 18 gold, but still, they cost one wood. Just like the other one, so it's still more worth to go and sell the shields. It might take longer to craft them. I don't really think there's a big difference. There might not even be a difference between them. But, uh, I mean, one wood, 24 gold. For the moment, it's like, yeah, check how many resources you need. You have a lot of wood. And how much do you need to craft it, so... Determine how much you're gonna get. We need to chop down some more trees, by the way, because, see, we don't really have much wood. The carpenter here that we got here, Sako, he's really busy crafting a lot of furniture and things that we're gonna have. Actually got Spoon now. That's really good. But I think we'll make the mason before we get the chef. Because the mason is gonna make this well that we're gonna take water from. I think you might be able to take from here, but I'm not sure about it. I haven't tried it out really myself, but... Uh, I know that Stone Mason should be making this well. So we could get someone who can do this. Maybe you rely. Oh, rely. Wow, she's got a really good body. <laughs> and uh, mind as well. I don't. I'm gonna save rely for an footman. So you're gonna do some guard duty later on. So we got Kelly here instead. A good mind, good spirit. So I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna try to, you know, get the perfect heartling for the perfect jobs and try to make it as good as possible. Long ago, I didn't really focus around this thing with uh, those things, but uh, nowadays I try to do it a little bit more. It do seem to help a lot. For footmen, it's help really much. With them, it's really, really visual. Visual, not <laughs> visual. So we got this fence, that's great. I think we need to get more shares, but uh, we're gonna get shares and stuff inside here later, so... Shouldn't really be a problem, but we could put them out, you know, just to help with uh, the digestion, like it says in the tooltips. So there we go, that's gonna be three tables, six shares. Oh yeah, we was doing this road, I, I forgot that one. There are so many things in this game that you kinda wanna do at the same time, but you know, you can't do everything you want at the same time. So make this road go out like that, and... I'm just gonna connect this one, hopefully it's gonna look pretty decent. So then we can continue along the road here. And we got some road going, and I guess we could... Already add a little bit of road here, and so it goes like to this house, like this. Guess we can remove there for the moment. This looks pretty good. A caravan approaches. Eight hunk of stone for seven basket of corns. Okay, let's do that one. That's gonna give us a lot of food. Because corn grows really slow. We gotta get a bigger farm eventually as well. This is a really tiny one. So I guess oh, we're getting some wood, yeah. We, but we're gonna need to chop down so much wood. This, this building gonna take so much wood. This one, what did that take? Like two, three wood max? And I think it was one stone. The slab is so cheap to work with. But now we should actually start to add some things to craft here. And here we actually got a well. This is pretty awesome. I think it looks really good. We need two wood and two stone, and we need to have level one in the stone mason, which is gonna go really quick, and we're also gonna make this stone mold eventually. And the blacksmith hammer, of course, so we can get some better weapons eventually as well. But this is gonna be the first step for getting better weapons. So let's get some of these. I guess four of those, and we can get uh, one of those. 
Invaders, where are they? There to come? But I think I'm gonna be pretty safe. Where is Luna? Where are you? You gonna go and defend them? Show you heroic powers. Okay, heroic powers sleeping. Activate. They're coming. I could wake her up. I think I'm gonna wait a little bit until they get a little bit close. Okay, maybe we should alert my people. Yeah, here she comes with her sword. Yeah, she's gonna he, she's gonna break that guy's bones. Yeah, everybody's manning up, going out to kill them. Great job, guys! We defeated them. The zombie undead horde. That's really good. How many beds? We got eight beds. That should be enough, isn't it? How many people do we got? Yeah, eight people. Why is this person Saku? Why are you sleeping there? She should go to this bed. But maybe he loves to sleep on the grass, I don't know. Maybe he do. So we just gotta add this and once that is done we're actually gonna progress. This is kinda the first time I actually do divide this way. It would be really fun to make rooms. I don't really think we can do it the way that I would want to do it. I don't think so at least. Because then we would be able to take and you know drag on top of the floor. There might be some workaround way that you can do this. I haven't really seen any way with it, so if it would you know a way that you can do it, feel free to drop it in the comments how you can actually do it, like a link to it, or if you wanna explain. There are probably some weird, strange way that can do it. There are many weird ways with this game for the moment. There's so many, like, you know, workarounds when you receive bugs, but so far, 10.5, sure, I only played this very little. It's been pretty stable, there's been some problems with uh, building some things, but uh, that's why I avoid making too much at the same time. But this is gonna be pretty awesome building once it gets done. And we might actually make, we will see what we can do here, we might make an uh, root cellar, which I got suggested long ago, I made that one, but we might make a new one. And I mean, then I can go down this hill and that could be pretty awesome. You might even, we might even dig in here and we can make different separate rooms with food. And you go down from here so you can go between different levels. I will see what I will do with it, but uh, at least I have some ideas for it. And if you have some, always feel free to share your ideas with me. Daily update, are we gonna beat it? It hasn't really happened much with this. So I guess we're gonna check it out, hopefully we're gonna beat it. Yeah, awesome, we beat it. Next day is gonna be tricky though, not gonna beat that one. Food is awesome though. We'll leave Nonaka to join. And I'm not sure if this is a guy or a girl. Olive. I guess it's a girl. So we can name this as well, maybe. Yeah, I think we're gonna wait with this person. So, name request, drop them in the comments. Both female and male. Just a lot longer queue for male names. This road is looking nice. The roads really make the town like... Seem really... It connects the town and just make it look so much more like a town having it. I remember when it only had like grass everywhere. I think it looks pretty good as well. But this just make it look more like a real town. Let's add some more bees. This is one of the things that kind of take the longest. I keep adding one fence over time. But eventually we're gonna reach it and we're gonna beat it. That's gonna give us a lot of wood. Bradley Beerman has achieved a new level. Level 2 farmer. Doing a great job getting us some food. Oh, we have so much food. Wow. That's a lot of food. So I wonder what they're gonna do with this. Are they gonna finish this last thing? I think we might just be... Yeah, we're probably just missing some wood. That is my guess. But yeah, this is gonna be pretty cool. But guys, I think this is gonna be it for today with Stoneheart. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, feel free to leave a like, it helps me really, really much. And if you want to see more with Stoneheart, me ban to play this game and other games, subscribe to my channel and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Drop the name in the comments and take care, have a great, great day, take care again.